This program is brought to you by the friends and partners of AMI. Hallelujah Ministries International believes in the Bible and Christ. We are Christ-centered and Jesus is at the heart of everything we believe and do. Our mission is to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ around the world. Through this mission, we seek to empower believers and equip them with the tools to share the gospel with the world and to live a life of faith, hope and love in Christ. Jesus remains the same yesterday, today and forever. Just as it was in Scripture, His power is at work today in the church. We are AMI. He prayed twice and a miracle was fulfilled. He prayed twice and a miracle was fulfilled. Did not just manifest, but a miracle was completed. I say it again. He prayed twice and a miracle was fulfilled. It was completed. It was made perfect. The reason why I say this before even I introduce my speaking is because prophetically, somebody is about to see his miracle being a model together, being completed. It began and God is fulfilling it. I, I don't know it. who has been trusting God, but I sincerely pray that that which God began to do in this atmosphere may come as a full package. If it is you, you know that a miracle is coming your way and the miracle God gave you is being fulfilled. Say, I receive it. I receive it. He prayed twice, two times for one simple thing twice he prayed twice means one and one one and one mm. there is an end a continuation he prayed twice and one miracle was completed it was fulfilled sometimes we do not know that uh, there are certain things that may require that we do again what we did before. Amen. Unless we do it again, what we did before will remain in part. Certain things that we have, we have because they have been a process. Yes, sir. And the process had to carry on until the end. Many who drop down, many who quit, fail because in quitting you stop the process. That's right. The process is not always desirable, but the process is what brings to maturity yes. what has been conceived. The baby needs a total nine month period mm -hmm. before the child is matured to come out. If the pregnancy lasts three months, the baby is not mature enough and ready for the outside world. The process may be tough. Morning sicknesses, turning with difficulties, mm -hmm. hormone changes. Sometimes we do not know what we want anymore. I want you, I don't want you anymore. The process is complicated, but the truth is, it is only as the process is fulfilled that what is inside being cooked in the process becomes good, becomes a blessing, becomes useful. Wait, ladies and gentlemen, you may be just in the process. Don't quit now. You are closer than when you began. Amen. You are almost today. You are part of the process. Oh, well, I know. During the process, the questions are, is it working? I'm not seeing it. Is it still there? What should I expect? Will it really happen? How can I wait for it? For a full year, it did not manifest. For the second year, it still did not manifest. Pastor Alex, have you been praying well? Bishop, are you really in God? Is your altar really working? Jesus. It has been four years. It has been five years. We are still here waiting. Will this ever happen? Can I turn? I pray.
prophesy by my act that something is about to manifest in your atmosphere. I receive it. That will turn your story. Do not worry of those who do not understand the process. Do not worry of those who misunderstand your process. They judge you now. They look low down at you now. They quickly conclude that you are going nowhere. But a child of God today, anointed by God, have been sent to tell you. He prayed twice that one miracle may be fulfilled. Two times he prayed. Jesus. He prayed and he prayed again. He didn't pray and say, oh, well, we prayed last year. He didn't pray and say, we fasted already 40 days before. He didn't pray and say, well, I went to church already. I touched the altar already. I went to the IVP already. No. He prayed twice. He prayed and he prayed again. Yes, sir. Why pray twice? Did it not work the first time you prayed? No, it worked. But you see, the process requires that you may sometime go a little further. You may cook it more. Yes. There are certain things that are too big to be too fast. You have to wait. Hey. Wait. Hey. My prophecy will not lie. In the name of Jesus. The promise of God will not lie. In Jesus name. I know I'm crying now. But I will not cry forever. I am in the tunnel of my process. Yes. But from far I can see light shining out there. I will not throw down the tower. No. I will keep on moving. Insult me if you want. Judge me if you want, but my altar, my life, my altar, my life, my spiritual umbilical cord is connected to my man of God. I know that God is on my side. He will not lie. I will pray again. again. I will fast again. again. I will work again. again. I will drive there again. again. I will serve again. again. I will give again. again. I will give again because again. I know God is no man that he may lie. He's not a man that he may repent. He is God. He prayed twice. For one miracle to be fulfilled. Those who concluded your lives that you're going nowhere will begin to see that all this while, behind the curtain, beyond what the eyes could see, your God was working out your miracle. Hallelujah. He was putting the right things in the right place thank you Jesus the process <laughs> some people in the process will leave you let them go they are not worthy to be part of you when your blessing manifests let them go don't hold them don't call them don't send them a whatsapp let them go ah, I remain unshaken <laughs> I will not move. I will not throw down the tower. I will not quit. I will not give in. I will not give up. I will not give out. I'll remain resilient. I'll remain undeterred. I will be here. You will find me here. Yes. Consistently, waiting patiently on the Lord who made the promise. For he who made the promise, He's no man that he may lie. No. No, is he a son of man? I'm speaking to somebody who is waiting for something to happen. You are waiting for a miracle and you're asking yourself, will it happen? Hear me. You are closer now. Yes, you are closer now. You are closer now. I receive the doctor it. will confirm it. The bank will call you. The neighbor will acknowledge it. You are closer now. Closer now, you are born for something bigger yeah. than what is uh, right now around you. So if you will wait uh, patiently, that God may do what He promises. They will not recognize you. Those who thought that I knew you yesterday, they will come and say, who is this one? They will not know that this is the very man who 
yesterday was on the altar of God praying seeking God traveling before God because God is about to do something that will shock the world I receive may I prophesy it. over you that the coming glory is greater better than the present suffering you are crying but not for long I receive that word some of you will look back and say Lord I, I did not know that this was for good when they left me I thought that I was losing now I realize that you are making me win you rooted out of my yard the people who improvise themselves as friends where their hearts were against me you gave them an opportunity to voluntarily take the leave without anybody chasing after them some people cannot reign with you because they're too false to be with you uh, so God when he allowing the winds to blow is sometimes not really allowing the winds to oppress you is allowing the winds to clean you come on I you'll be it. cleansed you'll be cleansed of false friends yes you know those who come and say we are together bro we we together while their heart waits for the time they catch your weakness and maximize Amen. your downfall that day will not come i receive it you'll not die you'll not die yes before your time no man can kill you i receive it wait look at somebody say, wait 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 <laughs> oh the wait. exercise of patiently waiting on the lord is often the greatest miracle that you need that helps you like a bridge to move from one place to another if you have the ability to Wait. Wait! You will not compromise in the journey. You will know that the Lord who has given Samuel to Anna is the same. In him there is no shadow of turning. I will wait on the Lord. Somebody say, I will wait on him. I will wait on him. <laughs> wait, wait, wait on him. Wait, just wait on him. So yeah, I'll wait on the Lord. I'll wait on the Lord. I will wait on the Lord. My redeemer, my deliverer, my promoter, uh, my story changer, uh, my blessing blesser, my God, my savior. Ah, I will wait on the Lord. I will wait. Come winds or high water on him. I will wait on the Lord. Yes. He prayed twice, two times. Have you been in a place where you're doing it and you're wondering, is it working? Should I get baptized again? Could it be that it was not done properly? No, it was. Wait. Wait. Ah, Jesus. Where is the Lord your oh God? I am driving and passing you at the bus station. I am better than you. Really? Really? <laughs> Do you want to know who's my God? <laughs> Wait. 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 Jesus. It's never over until he say it is over. Amen. Nobody has the last word, but he, God, he will show up. Yes. He will turn your demotion into a promotion. I receive it. From your test will come your testimony. I receive it. He will turn your mourning into dancing. I receive it. He will give you something to sing about. I receive it. Wait on the Lord. Don't compromise. Jesus began it. He will fulfill it. He is Alpha and He is Omega. Hallelujah. He is the beginning. He is the end. It does not begin unless it finishes it. 
if you see him beginning just know that it is already done hallelujah Jesus Jesus look to him keep your eyes on him he is the author he is the initiator and he is the fulfiller of our faith they begged him the book of Mark chapter 8 verse 22 then he came to Bethsaida and they brought a blind man to him and begged him to touch him who brought this blind man How did I bring this blind man? How bad was the situation of the blind man? They say to themselves, this is an impossibility we're fixing. And we can only fix this impossibility by taking this one to the solution giver. They took him to Jesus. Call on Jesus. When you run out of ideas, call on Jesus. Amen. When you do not know what else to do, call on Jesus. It doesn't matter whether you are at work, he will hear you. Amen. If you are at home, he will hear you. A child who calls on Jesus gets his attention. Amen. Call on him for your finances. Amen. Call on him when you do not know how to fend for yourself. The right judge is the Lord. The best advocate is the Lord. Amen. The best physician is the Lord. Mm. The right shepherd is the Lord. Call on Jesus. Yes. The best pastor is the Lord. They begged him. Jesus to touch him. I remember times where I had with tears presented my request as the scripture says make your request be known unto God and I begged God and I said Lord do you my last bus stop. I'm lost without you. There are too many who are standing against me Jesus you are my hiding place you are my strong tower you are my source bless me oh God Jesus and the word carries on and says so he took the blind man because he does not reject those who come to him no matter your problem he did not question the reason why this man is blind he did not he will never judge those who come to him he will never judge you the old preacher said come as you are the arms of the lord are open wild for you come with your burdens he will not give you his back. He will welcome you. Hear me even if it is that uh, you have made the worst mistake ever and uh, you are guilty. He's still here for you. Thank you, Jesus. If the process of man justice will throw you in jail, right there in jail, he loves those in prison. He still loves you. Jesus took the blind man. You see, he has no problem to associate. He didn't say, oh, well, I came for those who are well, those who look good, those who have made it. Even those who seem to be going through situation, those who have made mistakes, those who have been beaten by life, those who seem to be the least in our society, 
Jesus has no problem. Not only that we have seen him with uh, the tax collectors, we have seen him with uh, the prostitutes. Here, he took the blind that they brought to him. Your situation has a space. Amen. Bring it to the altar. Amen. Bring it to the Lord. He took him by hand and led him out of the town. Why? Certain miracle cannot happen in the environment that is so polluted by negativity. Jesus. There are times when for a great miracle to happen, God has to disassociate you so you may connect well. Amen. Amen. You see, every time you begin to pray and say, Lord, fill me up, you must understand that the filling up you are asking can only be possible by you praying and saying, Lord, empty me first. That's right. For unless you are emptied, you cannot be filled up. Some of us are too full of what they say. You, you, you are too full of they say this about you. They say this about your marriage. They say this about your family. They say this about who you are. Your psyche is conditioned to operate according to what they have designed through the saying. And God disconnects you to connect you. God removes you to introduce you. That's right. It took him out of down some miracles can only happen the day you decide to exit that group Amen. that group that see nothing good but the wrong not everybody should be your friend that's right your association is critical to where you are going you can discount yourself from the perfect place God set for you simply because your association is wrong Choose God, yes. don't choose them. Yes. Choose the word of God, don't choose the report. Amen. Choose the opinion of God. And when he had taken him out and he had spit on his eyes and put his hand on him, he asked him if he saw anything. Well, we know that this is not supported by anything scientific. We know that this is not a formula that has been proven in the realm of man. There is no rational intelligence that indicates that this is what you need to do when you're helping somebody who cannot see. This, therefore, to those who have nothing else to lean on but their own mind and understanding is senseless. Jesus Christ leads him out and spits on his eyes. And he lays hands on him and asks him if he sees anything. It is a process that is following a line that is inspired in the spiritual realm and can only make sense. In the spiritual realm. If you will translate what he's doing to the common natural understanding of man, you will have issues because it makes no sense. That's right. A number of things that are done in church today, linked in the working of the spirit and the demand in the season, from a spiritual, a supernatural realm, Conflict every other thing that um, those who believe to be intelligent in the natural realm have. And therefore, it creates a huge conflict, like an eruption of a volcano. There is a conflict between what is done in churches and what is seen out there in the community. And therefore, those who have the word to say, they quickly conclude that there is something that is not going on. Because the things of the spirit can only be understood by those who are in the spirit. Yes. Unless you are spiritual, you cannot understand the things of the spirit. That's and right. that this is the cacophony that happens between those like me, prophets, standing in God, serving God, releasing what God is saying, and those who have no spiritual intelligence. 
There is a way to navigate when it comes to things of the spirit, not to say things of the prophetic. It may be in conflict with what you have learned in the second year in university. But let me tell you, this is a prominent in the Holy Ghost, prominent in the supernatural, and more true than the truth that told you is true. Absolutely. Jesus Christ takes a man who is blind out of the city. He spits on his eyes and lays hands on him and asks, do you see? What a man of man is this? What do you expect on taking somebody, laying hands on him and say, take it? And you believe that his life will turn around. That doesn't make sense. Do you see anything if there was any witness who saw the proceeding, he will write it down in the local paper. He will say, this man is doing it again now. He's taking people out of the city and he's spitting on them. Is this a spitting anointing? Jesus. I don't understand it, somebody may say. It cannot be. Hear me. The workings of God are not like the workings of men. Amen. The way God comes and lifts a man is not in the process that men take to lift a man. I am here speaking to you to say what God say he will do for you. He will do it in the manner of God, in not Jesus in name. the manner of man. So Jesus do not name. wait for God in the corner of man. Oh, well, I got to graduate to get that job. God says, Say, I will make you prosperous. Even before graduation day, get ready! Show it! The ways of God are not our ways. The thoughts of God are not our thoughts. God has his own way of making his word come to pass. God, right now, as I speak, somebody's receiving something. How so? It. God is doing it. I sense the Holy Ghost is reaching out to somebody. If it is you I'm speaking to, make a Holy Ghost crazy noise. Sure. Be sure to tune in next time for the continuation of this preaching. Do you see anything? The word says, this man looked up and he said, I see men, but not perfectly. I see them like trees walking this already is uh, a testimony to say that probably this man was not born blind yes sir because he had a reference of what is man if you were born blind you may not have seen man you will not know what is a tree and what is a man you will not know the nuance so it could be that this man had seen the light before and that something has a switch off the light of his life I don't know where you are I don't know what you lost he is a restorer amen amen are you in a place where you say Jesus himself prayed for me but what I'm seeing is not completely what I had to see is it that the first prayer prayed was not as powerful as uh, intended to No, God has a way of teaching us life in the practical way by just showing up his own works that through his works we may learn that though he could create everything that exists and more by the weakest thought of his mind he decided to create the first day the second day the third day the fourth day the fifth day the sixth day then rested did he really need the six days to make everything Hear me. God is so God. He is so God. Come on. That the, the wicked thought, if such exists in him, could ever bring about everything we see and more. But to teach you how to go step 
past. My father. Getting somewhere, he said, take this step, take the other step, and take the other step. He walked the walk. If you were blessed by this video, please share and spread the message on social media using the share links in this video. Be sure to like and share our videos with your friends and family. Tune in to catch his next sermon on the public channel on AMI-TV or on our live stream on AMITV.com. Keep up with all his latest updates by following him on social media platforms at El Flucar.